Good morning. Um, today is Alma chapter 35. It's very short. Um, basically, what's going on is Alma is done teaching the Zoramites, and um, the wicked ones are angry and cast the believing ones out. And the believers go to the land of Jershon, the people of Alma, and take refuge there. The Zoramites get angry that the people of Alma have taken them into their land, tell them to cast them out or they will go to war with them. The people of Ammon refuse to cast them out. And so the Zoramites meet up with the Lamanites and they intend to go to war against the people of Alma and the Nephites. And so um, Alma then grieves over the sins of his people, and now in the next couple of chapters he's going to give instructions to his children. And there is only one paragraph, two paragraphs, in this thing about chapter 35, because it's so small, it's just kind of like a, a summary. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. A summary or like a, a overview of what happened then and what's about to happen. So, um, anyways, I'll just get into it. It's talking about, in verse 16, it says, um, He calls for his sons to come unto him, that he might give unto them every one his charge separately concerning the things pertaining unto righteousness. So, Alma's about to talk to his children and give them counsel for their lives. Um, I'm sure that he's done this many times, but they're, they're all adults now and he's getting kind of older. And um, it's kind of like um, a one last thing, you know. He's about to go on another mission and I, I believe he goes by himself and he's never seen again. so. He wants to um, give some encouragement and some some love and some guidance to his sons. Um, so it's talking about parenting. It says, uh, da, 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 da. "Fathers and mothers should sit together in council on how best to nurture and teach their children. This is a sacred and holy responsibility that is not transferable." Giving correction is one of the most difficult things we do as parents. It is our duty to correct, as moved upon by the Holy Ghost, early and with clarity, so that there is no misunderstanding and always in love. In correcting children, we must ensure that they always feel that it is done in love. They need to know that the only reason we correct them is because we care for them and love them. As the action of Alma shows, it is through these family relationships that we come to understand our relationship with our Heavenly Father, how and why He loves, chastens, and blesses us. Um, while reading this, I thought a lot about um, the issues we're having today. I don't want to get too political, but the issues that are happening today, the riots and things like that, or you just want to call them millennials, they were raised in a day and age of participation trophies or, you know, being your kid's best friend. And I'm not saying that's bad, but it says here that chastening is important. Correcting your children is important. You know, there's a lot of, oh, you're clipping his artistic wings or you're too scared that your kid might hate you to correct them. Where here it says it's important if you love your child, you will correct their behavior before they turn into a an adult who's in society who's good for nothing. You know, anyways. Moving on. Discipline is important. It's important. Alright. And then it says, Teaching moments emerge as parents plan and ponder about counseling and blessing their children. There are also scheduled times such as family home evening, family scripture time, and family council. Meal times often present ideal opportunities to discuss the events of the day, build relationships of trust, and teach or discuss principles of the gospel. 
Do we have an effective action plan on how and what to teach our children? Do we counsel together as parents and as a family? Do we give Father's blessings to our children? Do we give priesthood blessings as the need and opportunity might arise? That's all there is. Um, anyways, I don't have many, many more thoughts than that. I would like to go back to bed. All right. I love you all. See you all for church.